Suzanne Strong is an Air Canada service director and flight attendant. Even with 22 years of experience, she could never have predicted how air travel would change with COVID-19. Honestly, it was quite surreal. Um, I was scheduled to do some flying to Asia and I noticed on my schedule that those flights had been canceled. So at that point it felt really, really real. <laughs> Um, and it was just, uh, it was interesting flying at that time. We noticed a massive reduction in the number of passengers that we were carrying on our flights and people seemed a little uneasy, just felt a little eerie. Um, it definitely did. It was a, a stressful time for all of us in this industry. According to the International Air Transport Association, there was a 60% drop in passengers in 2020 compared to the year prior. By April 2020, 66% of commercial flights were grounded and industry losses were estimated to be 126 billion. All of a sudden, you know, the entire, um, you know, demand essentially evaporated overnight. Travel restrictions were being put in place uh, by the Canadian government, by foreign governments. It became extremely difficult to travel. Um, Stay-at-home orders were in effect. Business travel essentially evaporated overnight. And so, um, you know, that was obviously devastating to, to us as a company. But a year and a half later, air travel is bouncing back, allowing travelers to reconnect with the world and their loved ones. It's so nice to be back on the aircraft and be welcoming our passengers again and having people rejoin us for flights that they are also elated to be on board. Airlines like Air Canada have invested in stringent safety protocols, along with new tools to help customers ensure they have everything they need to travel. But in many ways, it is a very normal experience once you get onto the aircraft. Um, of course, always have to wear your face masks. We at Air Canada have actually just introduced what we call the Travel Hub. Uh, which can be accessed through aircanada.com, which actually is a one-stop shop, so to speak, for you to get the latest and greatest on what the entry requirements are. So for people flying again, can you give us a little behind the scenes look at what it's like in terms of safety and sanitization? There's a really extensive cleaning program. They use hospital grade disinfectant. The aircraft is sprayed all the high touch surfaces from top to bottom. So they should rest assured that they're getting on a spotless aircraft. For every single one of our passengers uh, gets one of these when they get on board, Board, extra hand sanitizer, extra mask, whatever you need. If you want to do an extra little cleaning of your surface, you're welcome to do so. We have really sophisticated HEPA air filtration systems on board the aircraft, and so they should rest assured that the air is being circulated constantly. It's a very safe environment. There's been very little spread, luckily, of, of COVID on board aircrafts that's been documented. Suzanne was briefly laid off during the pandemic, but since coming back, she's happy and hopeful for the future of flying. I actually feel like it's going to rebound really, really strongly. So many people have been sitting at home um, looking at WebEx or Zoom at their dining room tables, and I feel like people are really excited and anxious to travel and explore. Um, so I think it's going to come back stronger than ever. Um, and with that, hopefully we'll see even more routes and more airplanes and more employees. So um, there's only a positive growth in the future.